Hello there, this is Simon Lewis. Um, I am the principal of Carlo Educate Together National School and um, I said I would just um, make a few videos um, over while this COVID-19 has kept us all housebound uh, with some ideas of what you could send home uh, to pupils uh, using basic internet tools. Uh, what I'm going to do in this very quick video is show you how to use Google Docs um, which is just part of the Google suite. Um, all you need is a Gmail account really to start this off. Um, you don't even need to have Google Classroom or any of those uh, other tools uh, to do this with your uh, with your families. Uh, but if you do have Google Classroom, it could be an, it, it can be enhanced. And I'll do a video again of how you could do this with a Google with Google Classroom. But even if you don't, even if you have nothing of that sort, uh, all you need is uh, access to Google Docs, which uh, if you already have, if you have a Gmail address, if you don't have a Gmail address, get one by going to gmail.com. Um, to start um, a new document, you can go into your Google Drive and uh, select a new document, or there's a nice little shortcut called Docs dot new if you type that if you type that into your um, browser and will open up a brand new document for you which is a nice um, a nice little shortcut to know and uh, if you've never seen google docs before you'll see that it looks very very similar to um very very similar indeed to uh, word um, which you were probably familiar with. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create something called a hyperdoc. And before we begin, I just want to thank uh, Anya from Kamara who showed introduced me to the idea of a hyperdoc. Um, and a hyperdoc is basically a document where you can insert lots of different uh, little uh, little bits and pieces. And um, essentially, all I'm going to do is um, set up something very very simple. Um, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Uh, as we go along. So the first thing we need to do uh, with any Google document, uh, this is going to be basically an interactive worksheet. And um, what we'll do is we'll write the introduction. So I will be back to you when I have written my introduction. So I am back and uh, what I have done is I've done a very basic introduction here. Welcome to this hyperdoc about St. Patrick. So basically what I'm going to do is get the children to watch a video, uh, answer some questions about the video, draw a picture of a shamrock and I'll be using insert drawing here and then uh, guiding to make something green and taking a selfie. So it's four step kind of thing and I want to go through all of those four steps uh, really quickly. Getting a video is pretty simple. All you need to do is um, go to YouTube, find a video that you want. Um, it's not, um, So I found uh, last year's St. Patrick Day uh, parade here. Here is just a, a screenshot of it. Um, now you can't embed a YouTube video in a Google Doc. So there's a little trick that you have to do which is basically to um, take a screenshot of your video. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, and then I'm going to insert it into my document. So I go to back to my document and I need to insert a, an image which I'm going to upload from my computer. That should pop up now in a second on my desktop. Um, there it is. And I should have my picture here. And the trick now is to link that to the YouTube video. So what I'll do is I will copy the text, so to copy the text, and I will just add a link to this. So all I need to do is find a link button. There's the link button here, and I need to copy the paste, the link. I need to paste the link in here, apply. So when uh, someone is looking at this video, when they click on it, it will uh, go open up YouTube to play the video. So simple as that. Now what I'm going to do is I have to uh, watch this video. So I'm going to watch the video and I'm going to um, write down some questions uh, that a child might answer if I put them here. So when I come back, um, we will put in the questions. Now, so as you can see, I have a few questions written um, and what you might notice is this answer box. Now, basically, that's just a table, um, a one cell table. So I just want to show you how to put one of those in so people can write in the answers. So you go to insert table and just select one box and there you'll have your table. So when people are going to answer, uh, answer the questions, they'll watch the video um, and they'll answer what color code is the little boy wearing and so on. And what's the, the last question here might be a little more, more tricky for those of you who want to answer it um, because you um, have to do a little bit of research uh, in Google. The final uh, next bit really is step three where you they've asked you to draw a picture of a shamrock. Now we're running out of space so command or control and enter will bring you to the next page. Draw a picture of a shamrock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave enough space for someone to do that. Now, the uh, in order for somebody to do that, they'll have to go to insert drawing, a new drawing, and all they do is draw their shamrock here. If I can do that, 
I think it's just uh, loading up for me here. Free drawing is what I'm looking for. Select line, scribble. So we need to draw my shamrock here. As you can see, I did not do art in college or in school. There we go. There is my very poor shamrock. But there it is, draw my picture of a shamrock. But that is what they will do. So I will get rid of that. So I want them to draw the picture of a shamrock. And finally, step four is to make something green and take a selfie. So I better do that. Um, and uh, I'll show you how to do that when we come back. Now, the final task that we have to do here now is to make something green and take a selfie. Now, um, I should warn you that it took me less than 10 seconds to make this and parts of it are probably not even green, uh, but I will show you how to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert uh, an image and you can insert it from a camera. Here's my camera looking at me in a second. It wants to get permission to use it. Here it goes. Uh, there's me and here is my green sort of shamrock looking thing. I'm going to take a picture of it there and then I'm going to insert it in. So that's what the child will have to do and in it goes. Simple as that. So I'm going to leave that blank um, so that they will have to do it. So that's kind of really uh, the questions there that people have to do. And, uh, when you, uh, and the next thing to do really is share it uh, with uh, the children or with the, with the families. Now to watch the video what they'll have to do is just click on it and um, the um, basically the link will come up here and they'll just click on it and it will play. They can insert their answers in these sections here after watching the video. I've shown you how to do the picture of the shamrock and I've shown you how to do uh, something green. So the last thing really to do is share it uh, with, um, with anyone. So with Google, you don't actually um, save as like you would in, in Word. But the first thing we do, you give it a document, the name. So I'm calling it the COVID-19 Home Learning Kit. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to share it. Now at the moment it's private only to me, so I'm going to share it. Um, and the thing is, I want to make it, um, because I don't have Google Classroom and I don't know what email addresses are going to be used, I'm going to have to make it kind of public. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to advanced, um, even though it's not advanced, and you see where it says it's private, only I can access it. I'm going to change that, but anybody with the link um, is going to be able to is going to be able to view it, I think. It's probably messing, or will we go with edit? Um, yeah, let's go with edit. Now, what I'm going to do is save that. Okay, now I don't want anyone to edit that because as soon as I send that to somebody, what they will do is they'll, they will write over it. And I don't want them to write over that because I want everybody to have their own copy of this document. So I'm not gonna give them this. This is the original. What I'm going to do is a little trick uh, in uh, Google Docs, which means that everybody will get it. So do you see up here, you've got, so it's important that I shared it to everybody and it was public. But after that, I have this big long link and at the end it says edit. What I want to do is I'm going to change that edit word to copy. And once I do that and I give everybody that link, whenever they go to that link, they will get their own copy of this particular document so that they won't get they won't be working, they'll all be working on their own document rather than using the same one as me altogether. If I didn't do that, everyone would see everybody else's changes. So it would be impossible for a class. And when you do make a copy, uh, the person will get their own copy of it, which they can share back with me. Uh, so they could email it back to me. So they click on make a copy. And once they make a copy, um, they will get their own um, document. And there is their copy. And what I'd always suggest to um, children is they might put their name. Uh, do you see where it says copy of the COVID things? We might put, um, let's say, we have a child called John. We'll have John's copy of COVID-19 home learning kit. And he can do his own thing uh, here and answer all the questions. And then what he can do is share that back with me. Um, it's, it's as simple as that. So that's called a hyperdoc. Um, you can have lots of fun with it. Um, change the colors, make it look more attractive than I have. Um, but you can do it, but that basically shows you putting in a video, doing a comprehension quiz, uh, using drawings and using the camera. And what you've got there is something that would uh, occupy uh, a student in your class for a little bit of time. I hope the video is of use, some use to you. Uh, it starts a little bit raw and rough and ready, uh, but I wanted to get this out before St. Patrick's Day. Thanks a million for watching and we'll talk to you again.